So in this short video, I just want to show you how you can create a line graph um, in using Google Sheets, which is a free online software. So in this particular lab, um, this is uh, the first ecology lab. One of the question, questions asks you to construct a line graph based on the data that you collect um, for the germinating radish seeds. So it, it asks you to use the, the x and y axis where the x is the number of days and the number of seeds that germinate is going to be along the y axis. So in the experiment we had acetic acid, sodium bicarbonate, and water were our three types of media for the seeds to germinate on and it, we need to represent them with different colors. So um, you just need to search in Google. Let me bring this up a little bit. Okay. For Google Sheets, here we go. We're going to make a new spreadsheet. So in the columns, you're probably going to want to title this one day and, and in whatever order you want to use them. So let's say we have water, we have sodium bicarb, and we have acetic acid. Okay, so we, ha we collected this data for seven days and then this is going to be the number of seeds that germinate each day. So let's say there was a total of 10 seeds that we put on each. So this data I'm, I'm putting in here is just made up data. Okay. All right. And I'm going to say, you know what, I don't think we're going to get very much germination with this. Okay, so there, this data then would be what you collect from your experiment. Now we want to create a line graph. So we need to go up here to we have, we have the little icon of a chart. Click on that. We select, let me move this over so you can see this. We select that we want a line graph. Okay, and then we're going to need to select our data ranges. I'm going to move this graph over just a little bit. This, this can be used to continue to edit our graph. Okay, so our x-axis, we just, once we click on x-axis, we're going to select the data that we want to be on the x-axis. So it told us that we want the days of the week, or the number, excuse me, the number of days in the experiment to be in the x-axis. So I'm just going to select that, and say OK. And then we're going to have several series. So one range of data, it's going to be our water series. Oops. Let me reselect this. Add a series. Okay. There we go. We're going to add another series. Okay. So for each of our treatments, one's water, one's sodium bicarbonate, and one's acetic acid, we're going to have a line for each of these. Now you can see for our chart um, that we have some good information. We see that the blue line represents our water data. Um, the orange line represents, it looks like, the acetic acid, and the red line represents sodium bicarbonate. But it, it does ask me to label my chart, so I need to do that. So I'm going to go here under Customize to Chart and Title Axes. So my chart title will say Radish Seed Germination. Okay. And then I'm also going to title my vertical axis. Okay, so my vertical axis is number of seeds that germinate. 
Okay. And I'm going to title my horizontal axis number of days. Now, it's, it's actually not simple to go in here to the legend and label these lines as for what they are. So my recommendation, if you're going to make a chart using this Google Sheets, is to go in then, once it's assigned blue to the water, I would just select this column, okay, and go in and change the text color to blue so that it matches. That will make it easier for me to grade. Okay, the sodium bicarbonate column, um, it looks as though it's assigned that to red. And the acetic acid column, it's assigned yellow. So that way those, will, those colors will reflect what's actually in your chart. And so that's the way to make the chart on um, Google Sheets. You can also certainly do it by hand where you just draw a graph out and plot your points and make your lines and take a picture of that with your cell phone or take a picture with your webcam or if you have a scanner you can scan it in um, to submit that for your lab this week.